Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing my February bullet journal setup. Let's jump right in. The supplies I am using this month include the Stedler pigment liners, and I really like these ones because they come in a variety of sizes and really help me to create variety in my layouts. I also did some color swatches with my Tombows. I have some darker moody pink colors, but I also have some brighter ones sprinkled in there. I think these will look really nice together. When I came to choosing this month's theme, it actually took me quite a bit longer because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but what I ended up deciding to do was carry the stationary theme from my 2022 layouts as well as my January layouts, and then just add in pops of pink and a lot more Valentine's elements. So starting with the cover page, I did a full page spiral bound notebook doodle. And then for the lettering on this page, I decided to do more of a bubble font. I did sketch this out beforehand, um, but I think it turned out really cute and simple, nothing too fancy. Then below that, I included space to put in my mini calendar. And here I just start with the header, but you will see me put in the days of the month here shortly. And then I also included some doodles coming from the top of the notebook. So it's just some hearts hanging on some string. And then I also included little bows on the doodle. Then I came in with my Tombow colored pens and I colored in the February header with my darkest pink and then I did a variety of the different pinks to color in those hearts with. So that's it for the top half of this cover page and for the bottom half what you're going to see here is I've actually added elements of my monthly layout to this cover page and I'm going to explain why here in a minute but here you can see I just added in the cutters with the pink Tombow brush pens. I used my pigment fine liner to do a little outline and then I have a section here for birthdays, appointments and my goals. So the reason I decided to do my cover page like this is because I'm actually not doing my traditional monthly calendar style layout. And that's because I've decided to take a very different approach to my planning this month. And this is specifically to help me tackle my goals even harder this month. So basically what I have done is on this cover page, I have included the two spaces for things that I just generally need to plan and that's birthdays and appointments. And then I also have this space for my goals. The following layouts are all set up for my specific goals and you're gonna see that here in a couple minutes. I know this is a really different style. I'm really curious to see if I'm actually gonna like it this month, but I thought, why not? Let's give it a try and I can't wait to report to you guys how it actually works for for me. So flipping right over to the next page, the first goal I'm focusing on are all of my business related goals and the style for this layout I decided to go with is very similar to the productivity layouts I used to use and it's basically where I just list out one big action item I want to complete each day. To get the layout started, I did a header at the top and I actually decided to do a quote here instead of a header just to keep myself inspired and motivated. And then I'm so sorry my camera cut out here so you don't see me writing down the days of the month but it cuts back in here where you can see I took my pink Tombow dual brush pen and I decided to highlight every second line just to give the page a pop of color and variety. The next side is what I call the dashboard portion of this productivity layout I used to create. And here basically I've just added in little headers. So I have one section for my YouTube, one section for the content for my members club. 
I have a space for to-do lists underneath each. This is something else I'm trying this month where I'm taking the two different types and creating to-do lists for each. Normally I actually mold these together. I'm really curious to see if this will work better for me. And then at the bottom I also have a space for my projects. This next layout is a lot more focused on my personal goals, things like my routines, my fitness plans, things like that. And so what I did is I decided to split each page up into four sections. So there's eight sections in total, and this gives me tons of space to plan out each little area that I wanna plan. So here, like I have in my other ones, I was just using my pigment fine liner to sketch in my layout. And then I also wanted to add some color and decoration to the tape, so I used my Tombow Dual brush pens as well as my pigment fine liners to add in some color and some doodles to each of those strips of washi tape. Then using my pink Tombow Dual brush pens, I also added in little headers into each box that I could know what each one was for. And on this second layout here, you'll see that I made quite a few mistakes. I really wanted to leave this in the video just to show you guys that it's totally okay to make mistakes and it's okay to even attempt to fix them if you're able. You'll see here that I actually just use a white out, like a roller white out to cover up where I drew in the wrong spots. And while I prefer to have every layout look perfect, it's just not realistic. It's something that I really had to really work to overcome because I am a perfectionist but it has challenged me and actually helped me grow so much. Mistakes used to bother me so much and now they don't bother me quite as much and it's something I've actually been able to apply in other areas of my life as well. So if you're hesitant to start a bullet journal because you're afraid of making mistakes, I really want to encourage you, don't let that stop you. The system is so amazing and it's okay. You can try and fix some of them and even if you can't, it's not the end of the world. You're still going to be able to create yourself an amazing plan. So once I had fixed all my mistakes and finished drawing in the layout, I just did the exact same thing here. Use my Tombow Dual brush pens to add in some doodles and some different patterns onto the washi tape. And then I also drew in the headers here as well. And that is it for my February layouts. I really haven't been creating a lot of monthly layouts lately just because I've really been focused on weekly and daily layout planning. But just to recap what I have here, so I have my cover page, which again looks really different this month because I'm trying a new monthly planning style, but it includes space to plan out my appointments, my birthdays, and my goals for the month. The second layout is completely geared for my business and it's where I'm going to plan out all my YouTube content, all my membership content, as well as any projects I have. And I'm going to use the calendar on the left side page to basically slot in my to-do list and come up with a game plan of what I'm going to do each day in the month. And the last layout is to help me plan my more personal goals for the month. And so the sections on this include my morning routine and my evening routine, my fitness routine, as well as a cleaning routine, books I want to read, bills I have to pay, house projects my husband and I are working on, as well as the affirmations I want to live by this month. And that is it for this video. I really hope you like the February layouts. I definitely had a lot of personal blocks this month and I'm not entirely sure why. It's something I'm working on, I'm journaling about, but I just felt like I was a little bit stuck and so I really sat down and thought about what planning challenges I've been having lately and that's kind of what led me to try this new monthly style. So I'm really excited to report to you guys how it actually works for me. Now I have completely lost those blocks. I'm ready to jump into February. I'm ready to start planning and start taking action and I think the layouts also turned out really cute which is just always an added bonus because I do like a pretty bullet journal layout. So yeah that is it 
it for this video. If you like it, be sure to hit the like button below. And if you want to be notified anytime I upload new videos, be sure to also hit the subscribe button. I have tons of fantastic content coming out, really talking about how I use my bullet journal to set, plan, and accomplish my goals. I'm really excited to share all these tips with you guys. But that's it. I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.